Hello and welcome to this tip of the week video where I will be giving you a little closer look at our blade hole adapters which are used for getting the center of rotation on blades that don't have a round mounting hole. Sometimes blades have irregular hole shapes for their mounting. Now, irregular hole shapes in lawnmower blades is nothing new. This stretches back uh, to the 1970s and perhaps even earlier. You'll find that some mower manufacturers will create non-round holes for the purpose of making a blade proprietary, which then forces the owner of the mower to go back to that brand's mower blade for the replacement trying to not then have an aftermarket option. However, the aftermarket catches up pretty quick and will make alternatives. So that's generally one of the reasons why you get irregular blade holes. There are some engineering reasons for odd blade hole types as well. If there's, let's say, a specific timing to a deck where the blade needs to be mounted on an irregular hole shape to retain timing to prevent blades from colliding with each other. Now, stretching back to the 1970s, Magnumatic has always made blade hole adapters for these different styles of blades that come and go as manufacturers make them. Because we have always sought to provide our customers with the means to, of course, accurately balance blades with the original Mag 1000 blade balancer, but again, to supplement that tool, some of these hole adapters are required to be able to give us a way to adapt from, let's say, a square hole, like you might see in this blade, back to a round hole that will mount on our blade balancer's cone. Again, the reason for all of this is to seek the center of rotation because we have to measure the blade balance from the center of rotation. This is of course why you can't hang a blade on a nail on the wall. You're not in the center of rotation. Now when we engineer these adapters, we take great care in doing so. We primarily use plastic so that we can uh, more easily change the fitment to the blade. One of the things we do is not only do we get samplings of the blades from the OEMs as well as any aftermarket alternatives or modifications, we also purchase spindles. So we'll take a closer look at these later, but we have all the spindles that match these different hole shapes and we have to take tolerances and dimensions from both to be able to meet somewhere in the middle to get the closest possible uh, center of rotation location with the blade adapter. We sell the adapters singly as well as in a set. There is of course a set discount, so typically speaking the set is the most cost-effective way to purchase the adapters. Now let's take a little bit closer look at some of the different uh, hole shapes and their respective adapters. Here now we have a little bit closer look at some of the blades and the adapters up close. Here, for example, I'll show you this one. This is a Cub Cadet blade that has what we're kind of calling an S-shaped hole. And here's the adapter that then fits in. And I'll turn this over so you can see how that fits into the hole, giving you a round hole to use on the balancer. Here is one of the, I believe this is the square one for this blade. Here's a very odd shape, it's kind of a cross. And this one fits into here, again, giving you that round hole. We talked about some of the spindles earlier, I'll show you some of those and some of those patterns so you can see those up close. Here is what's sometimes referred to as the bow tie. Uh, this is, I believe, an MTD pattern, uh, as well as this is the gear-typed uh, John Deere spindle. That would be this blade. John Deere uses kind of a, you could say what almost looks like a cog or a gear wheel. It's also referred to as a star sometimes. 
Here's the spindle and the matching blade. And here's the adapter for that MTD, uh, which is sometimes referred to as like a bow tie, as I said. So that's that one. And then an example of that same one where you have an aftermarket is here's an aftermarket blade where this appears like a, a rectangle, but it is actually bowed just slightly and it is meant to, this is an aftermarket blade, meant to fit with that bow tie. So now here, it's the corner points you can see that they're locating off of to get around uh, probably the patents on that blade and that blade hole shape. So that's also something that happens. You'll get even a stranger hole in the aftermarket when the aftermarket company is trying to uh, provide blades for that mower with a special style. Uh, here's another one that does that same thing. This is actually uh, also an aftermarket hole that would normally use the star pattern, which is also an MTD, and that hits off of some of the corner points of the star. Again, it is not a star shape, but it is using a portion of the star's points to locate center. Again, this is one of those aftermarket getting around the OEM. We've even seen holes that are oval. So this also exists where they're making an oval hole and an, adapt and an adapter is required. Now, when you're selecting adapters at magnematic.com, we specifically only show the dimensions of the adapter. If we can name a manufacturer that it goes with that we're able to align and figure out what blades go with a, a specific manufacturer, we'll list that when we can. Now here we have a little closer look of the MAG-1000 blade balancing instrument and one of those blades from the table. This one happens to be a Murray blade with an oval hole, which would be impossible for us to locate center because it can move all around on the cone. So here we'll demonstrate the use of the adapter and we'll place this in to the blade Okay, so you can see it's here. Now this blade presents a little bit of a challenge because of the strength bends. This blade has bends that are bent downward to give a, th a blade made with thinner material more strength. That's why they typically add these bends to them. We cannot connect the magnet to the underside of the blade because it, was, it would only contact on this very fine edge. So we're going to contact against the top of the blade, choosing the area with the greatest uh, surface area to connect to the magnet for safety. So the blade hole adapter is here. The hole adapter then gets pushed against the cone. That's locating our center of rotation. I'm now pulling the magnet forward with my fingers until it contacts the blade. And now we can see if this blade is in balance and you can see it is out of balance uh, and it's moving at a speed that I would still have it corrected. Let's try using one more adapter. This blade is one of them with a fully square hole. I'll put my hand behind here so you can see the hole. We'll take our adapter and we'll locate it into the square hole. And now of course this blade, because this is a heavier commercial blade, there are no strength bends in it we can connect to the underside of the blade. And now we're connected to the balancer. Well, I certainly hope that gives you a little bit more information about the blade hole adapters that we offer from Magnematic and seeing how they work in conjunction with the MAG-1000 blade balancer. One last note to make about these adapters, none of these are intended or sized to be used on a mower. You would never use one of these adapters, place it in the blade, and then connect it to your mower. They are not meant for being used while cutting grass or being connected to a lawnmower. They are only to be used on a magnetic blade balancer. Again, I certainly hope that gives you some more information. Thank you very much for watching, and all of the adapters in the sets are available at magnematic.com. If you like this content, please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.